everybody and welcome to Raising Vibrations and uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about the sun sign forecasts for the month of February and um, in last month's uh, description uh, I shared a little bit about the way in which the sun sign and the ascendant work together and why these um, solar cycles are important to, to watch and listen to and in today's discussion a little opener I'm going to be talking about something that's really, really fascinating, to be honest. Um, it's always been a way in which we've understood astrology. And uh, today we're going to be talking about something called a neutrino. Okay, the neutrino stream, the neutrino field, the neutrino ocean, however you wish to find it. Um, it is the Aquarian age, in my opinion, um, word or terminology for the word for prana or energy or... Um, the uh, chi that we have uh, labeled as a way to understand information and the way in which we experience this universe. So what is energy? What is the way in which we are um, having consciousness and the way in which we understand the spectrum of light? So neutrino and the neutrino stream is a, or a neutrino itself is a very small particle, okay? It's actually smaller than an atom and its mass basically penetrates through atoms and basically what happens with a neutrino is that it, it contains information okay of everything that it passes through so it permeates the totality of our entire um, reality in which we experience and that is how we actually get to understand the astrology impacting us how we get the planetary archetypes and how the information passes through us Okay, it's no coincidence that um, in the uh, ancient times we would have a lot of teachings, esoteric teachings, in which the sun would be a way in which we would absorb um, photon energy and we would basically have our cellular memory activated through that experience. That's why if you notice on the internet, uh, there's a lot of things about sun gazing or, um, you know, spending a great deal of time activating yourself through the sun. The same, obviously, with plants and stuff. It's not a coincidence. And so the information that moves through our, our reality is this thing called the neutrino ocean, the neutrino stream. Um, and like, like I said, it was prana, chi, energy, however you wish to describe it. And there's, the, like I said, these little small particles that um, are, are incredibly tiny. They're incredibly, incredibly tiny, okay? And then in the description below, I've got some links for everybody to go and read and check this out and to educate yourself on. Um, because it's a really, really fascinating thing to do. Science is really trying to understand this in a very deep way. Um, and so what the neutrino does is it basically moves through the sun and the sun permeates these neutrinos. And as it basically comes through earth and it moves through our body, we have all the information imprinting our consciousness, imprinting our body. And this process is the way in which these planetary energies influence us, like I said, all right? And it's uh, according to a system of knowledge, 70% uh, of the neutrino is actually coming from the sun and the rest of it comes from the universe in itself and the collapsed stars permeate information. And as it moves through us, through everybody, okay, it moves through us and it basically sticks on us for information and uh, it moves through and carries information. And that's how we basically are evolving our consciousness which is why I've come to understand that these sun sign forecasts are really, really powerful pieces of information to understand because the fact that we can um, have the sun sign, so my sun sign Scorpio, your sun sign, whatever, the sun, as it basically manifests itself and it permeates the, the, the earth and the neutrino information goes through the sun and through your chart, it activates your, your consciousness, it activates your template. And this template basically reflects to you the nature of how your consciousness is evolving in this lifetime. So watching your astrology has become something so fascinating to me even more because as it opens up this dimension of reality, we get to see how much the universe is consistently supporting us with what we have come here to evolve. And that's why for me, understanding these sun sign forecasts and understanding them through an evolutionary cycle has brought an immense amount of like, wow, I really actually like this. I really actually enjoy understanding how these things are influencing us in a massive way, more so than I had in the past. So neutrinos, neutrino stream, this is how this information gets imprinted through us. 
And I wanted to share a picture with everybody over here. Let me just go over to the screen and you can still hear me. And on the right hand side, you see a, a guy standing over there and the sun permeating the, the neutrinos, the information being reflected from the sun. The sun contains light. The light is obviously what we are in consciousness and that moves through us. And there are approximately 65 billion neutrinos moving through your body every minute. So the capacity for us to actually experience these neutrinos moving through us is so incredibly large. And you can see on the left-hand side over here, the sun, neutrinos from the sun, right? It basically comes from the center of the sun and it moves through all the planetary systems and permeates through Earth. And that's how we obviously are impacted by this. And it's really, really fascinating. And like I said in the description below, there's a couple of links that you can click on to go and read more about this and see some of the experiments that uh, science is doing at the moment to capture this. And you know, according to, to the way in which they've been able to capture this, only 6% six, 6 of the 65 million neutrinos have science, has science been able to actually like uh, put it down and say, hey, we can spot these things called the ghost particle. So this, this is a really, really fascinating thing for us to be able to actually track the way in which our consciousness is being imprinted from um, the neutrino stream. And we're having this happen to us all the time. That's how the nature of the universe moves through us. And we're constantly watching this process just unfold in our way. So really fascinating stuff. All right, guys, um, I hope that you enjoyed uh, this little introduction. And um, right coming up right now is your Sunshine Forecasts. And Hello Capricorns and welcome to your sun sign forecast for uh, the month of February 2017. I hope you're well and I um, also hope you enjoyed the introduction video on how the astrology and how our planets and how we are impacted by um, the energy that flows through us and the neutrino stream and the way in which we basically are evolving through these planetary archetypes and giving us a sense of um, awareness as we develop our um, capacity to understand what it means to be human and what our potential is about. So let's go ahead and actually check out what's the, the month of uh, February has actually got in store for you. Um, in my opinion, I think, uh, to, you know, February, apart from uh, the lunar eclipse and solar eclipse being uh, a part of this energy, it's a kind of relaxed month in that sense. Um, although like I said, paradoxically, it's also one where it's going to set the tone for, for 2017. Now, for you guys, we're looking at Pluto as the bottom line. Of course, we always look at Pluto as the bottom line and in all of the charts. And Pluto is definitely evolving the way in which we are experiencing our moment, like our reality and what's around us and how we're being evolved and what's dying and what's uh, being reborn. And for you, you're being um, sort of dis like in this place of, of self-discovery, you know, I mentioned this in the last uh, video uh, at great length, so I won't babble on too much about it. But for you, you know, it's it's all about f following those desires around a new direction, a new sense of um, life meaning. And with Pluto being at 18 degrees here, there's there's a new sense of, okay, I'm going to try this out. I'm, I'm going in this direction. And I'm just here to kind of figure out what this means for me right but not really knowing exactly what it's about so there's a lot of uncertainty around what your life is is doing for you and what life is moving you through but at the same time you also are getting rid of an old identity that you know didn't ever belong to you or was belonging to you up to a certain point and now is ever like changing so a very strong new direction on a on a on a large scale for you capricorn um if we have a look at saturn Saturn's still transiting your 12th house and it's been there for quite some time and Saturn is bringing to us and to you uh, the questions and evolutionary dynamics around um, a release pattern of uh, what you once understood about yourself. So this is a time where you are actually letting go and dissolving a very large part about how you identified with yourself in the past, you know, on an emotional level um, and you're learning how to figure out what this new meaning is about and as Saturn's transiting your 12th it's uh it's basically just pushing through and asking you to surrender a lot of your sense of authority and what of what you thought you were good at is now being transformed and you're basically having an entirely new direction 
kind of proposed for you there. So that's definitely supporting a lot of the symbolism. And with the sun now in your solar second house, you're still dealing a lot with um, your sense of self-worth and your sense of value and what do you contribute to um, the overall sense of life that you belong to, you know, your home. Um, and on a maybe larger scale, like what is around you in terms of the community or the work environment that you're in or your personal work environment. You're looking a lot at how you're developing that um, resource base. What are your essential needs? So I wouldn't be surprised during this, um, the, the beginning of this month. And of course, uh, the last, the end of last month, you were uh, paying attention to um, all the resources around you. A lot of people would be talking about their money. People would be talking about what type of investment they're making things in, etc. And you're just learning about what are what is resources, okay? And how do you effectively use them to distribute in, in the correct ways or in the most beneficial ways? Um, and if you have a look on, on the actual transits that are taking place for us right now over here, you can see on the 3rd of February, um, Venus actually moves into the constellation Aquarius there, uh, not Aquarius, Aries, sorry. And that's a big deal because it, it begins to now become even closer to Mars, okay? Venus and Mars have been traveling very close together. And it joins Mars in Aries, right? And for you, this is moving into your solar fourth house. Now, Uranus has already been there. And as Venus and Mars have been moving into Aries, they're going to be joining the party with Uranus there. And of course, this is, again, promoting this emotional reality. What type of, um, like, where, where are you... Where are you, you emotionally connected to? Like, where are your roots? Where do you belong? Where do you go home every single day to feel like you can be comfortable in your own space? And you're looking for that sense of identity. You're looking for that emotional established connection in which you can feel as if there is something that you can relate to on a day-to-day and month-to-month and week-to-week and year-to-year basis, right? This is it's like, who are you, Capricorn? This is the question that's being promoted for you. So with Mars and Venus moving in there now, it's an amplification, right? You're going to be finding yourself more in the home, more coming back to, to wanting to just kind of chill out in your home and develop and nurture your emotions and really look after yourself in that sense. And I wouldn't be surprised if you even begin to um, make contacts with, you know, people that are uh, from your childhood or growing up or um, just basically even revisiting or remodeling the way that your home works just as a way to develop a sense of, ah, oh, this is what, this is how I would like to identify myself. Okay, so on the 6th of February, okay, we've got Jupiter beginning to make its retrograde motion, and there you can see there, Jupiter's now retrograde, and um, Mercury also moves into the constellation Aquarius, which is now your solar second house. So with Mercury moving into your second house, it's dealing a lot with your Again, your relationship to finances and abundance and your resources and your sense of self-worth and what is essential for you. And with Mercury moving there, it's going to be highlighting a lot of what this month has been in terms of um, this resource. And you'll get a lot of messages come through. So pay attention to a lot of repeating themes by other people saying stuff to you or you reading something and it just kind of triggers your way of going, yeah, this, this is a new way I'm going to look at stuff around the resources, of course. With Jupiter transiting the 10th house for you, of course, this is in, in complete polarity to the 4th. And this is about what life direction you feel that you would like to pursue. So Pluto's in the 1st saying, I would like to rediscover myself. Uranus, Mars, and Venus are on the 4th saying, what are my um, conditions in which I wish to exist within? And Jupiter in the 10th house is pulling you out and saying, yeah, what direction do you want to go in Capricorn? Which... Which um, sense of, of uh, influence, what, what career path do you choose? You know, where do you want to invest your time and energy into? And with the retrograde now, there's this an opportunity to revisit things that you've maybe felt that you didn't get opportunities in the past, or you're going to relook at stuff again, and you're going to get the opportunity to make the decision again. You're going to say, do I want to take this route now? Or do I still feel the same way about the decision I made when it was direct? Okay. So this is a great opportunity to, to expand on your relationship dynamics towards your, you know, direction. Life direction is the best way. Like, how do you want to direct your life? 
okay? Lots of insights are going to come through. Just pay attention to a lot of people that are around you, reading stuff again. Information will pass through you, giving you an insight into what to do, okay? All right, so then on the 10th of February, we've got um, a lunar eclipse that's happening. And this is um, in the constellation Leo. And this is, of course, in your eighth house. And for you, um, Capricorn, we're going to be dealing with the way in which you feel connected to people. Like, who can you trust? What, what, uh, where can you invest your energy into? Okay. And um, trust and intimacy and f fears of um, being disempowered are a big part of the story. And it doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be your theme, but you will definitely have a lot of this information pass through you. And it's just about watching what comes your way and how you basically develop deeper awareness around the subject. And because the, um, the lunar nodes are going to be shifting into your eighth and second house, of course, this um, new moon and solar uh, full moon, pardon me, that's taking place, is going to be amplifying that story. It's going to be setting the tone. So this is a really powerful um, time to be looking at what themes are around you because they're going to be very much about what 2017 is for, okay? So on the 14th, pay close attention. And then on the 14th of February, Jupiter makes an inconjunct to Chiron. Uh, sorry, yeah, inconjunct to Chiron. And you can also see that the moon hits it there as well, which is activating the whole Jupiter retrograde thing. And of course, you're going to be finding out like the expectations and looking at what types of uh, direction, life direction you want to go in and, and reevaluating that. Okay, that's just how it's going to be. And this is a great opportunity to, like I said, as I've mentioned it before, uh, what is the life direction you choose to take and how do you want to go forward with um, the next couple of years in your life? All right. Okay. So if we go over to now the 18th of February, we've got the sun and it's now moving into Pisces over there. Can you see? And the sun now moves into your solar third house and joins up with the south node, Neptune and Chiron. Okay. And for all of you, this solar third house experience is very much about your communication, your connectivity, your close um, sort of like dialogues that you have with people, the way that you express things. And part of this process is about what are you learning? Like, how do you identify yourself, right? Remember, a large part of your Capricorn stuff is about new discovery. So new discovery about who you are. And with the solar um, sun moving into your third house, this is going to bring the questions. What is my truth? What philosophy do I subscribe to? Um, what is the vision that I use to influence my life direction? You know, this is the story. So you're going to get a lot of information from the 18th of uh, February onwards around this questions that will be coming up for you. And this is a great opportunity to really pay attention to um, the wisdom that is available as this uh, month goes out, right? So from February 18th up until March 18th. And then finally, on the 26th of uh, February, we've got a solar eclipse. And this is beautifully happening on this, this third house. So this is a, a wonderful opportunity to get chatting away with, as I said, people, and you're going to be deeply inspired around connectivity and wanting to explore and be curious about stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if you even decide to learn something new for the first time as a way of developing deep abundance in your life. Okay. So I'm interested to see what that actually takes place for you. So this is a very powerful end to the month for us as we begin to open up our horizons. Okay, Capricorn. <laughs> All right, uh, have a fantastic month, Capricorn. And don't forget, if you're interested in uh, having readings or learning astrology for yourself, um, learning your chart, uh, you can always check out my website, which in the description below is the link to it, okay? Other than that, have a fantastic month. Take care, bye-bye.